Here's what happened. Bucky Brooks was on the NFL Network's Path of the Draft with Daniel Jeremiah, and they were talking about the idea that Justin Fields might slip in the draft, which seems to be one of the big talking points heading into uh, tomorrow's draft. And the question was, if Justin Fields slides, should the Ravens move up to get him? Or if he makes it all the way down to 27, should the Ravens just pounce on him, even though they already have Lamar Jackson? Here's what Bucky said, quote, they could take a collegiate approach to the quarterback position. They cash in on Justin Fields, and maybe they operate like a college team. One quarterback, quote-unquote, graduates. The other quarterback steps into the starter's role. You now have the opportunity to keep a starting quarterback potentially on a young deal, build up the rest of the assets, and then play smash, smash mouth football the way that they like to play and continue to build a better roster around the quarterback. I just think it's something to think about, end quote. And what did Lamar say? Lamar responded to him? He did. Uh, obviously, the tweet went viral, or the clip went viral, yep. and, and somebody shared it. And uh, Lamar saw it, and he said, he quote tweeted, he said, Bucky, we can box a little bit. I won't buck, with a couple of laughing emojis. And, and, and Chris, here's, here's my thing. Chris, if you want to say that about a quarterback who maybe hadn't achieved or was a Sam Darnold, you had high expectations – and he hadn't accomplished anything in the league, maybe I could buy into that. But to say that about a guy who has done nothing but he's won more regular season games than anybody since he came in the league, and that's including Patrick Mahomes. He's also won a, a unanimous MVP. He, everybody said he couldn't win a playoff game. He won a playoff game. It's just a total disrespect to Lamar Jackson. And, and, and that's why I'm upset with Bucky. You might want to float that, Chris, about somebody who's a middle-of-the-road quarterback or a middle-of-the-pack or something like that. If you wanted to say that about Matthew Stafford after his sixth or seventh year with the Lions and they hadn't won anything, maybe I would buy into that. But I think it's a total disrespect of Lamar Jackson, and that's why I'm upset with Bucky Brooks. That's why You're TJ, actually upset with him? Yeah, I am. Like, like, I just think it's a total disrespect of him as if he did nothing, Chris. And I don't... I don't think that that he graduates and you move on to the next guy. That's BS. They haven't done that for anybody else. If Bucky Brooks told me that, I think it's easier. And and I and I'm not. I'm saying this, Chris, from my heart. Right. It's easier to dismiss black quarterbacks, and I don't like it. Not not at this point. I'm not just. I mean, but I'm if, just we, saying, if we name the top, me. if we name the top quarterbacks in the league, I, the five highest paid quarterbacks are all black. Okay, but, so, but this so guy who's you can't say I'm not it's talking easy about paying black people, quarterbacks. but dismissing what he's accomplished as if Nobody, you could just but, interchange. I, 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 I don't see, buy I that. And here and here's why I'm not saying I fully support what Bucky says. And let's keep it real. Bucky said it's something to think about. He wasn't saying this is what I mean. I, maybe he's implying this is what he would do, but he just threw it out there, something to think about. And and I'm just saying. I get where he's coming from. Here, here's the thing, Rob. He, it, it has nothing to do with Lamar being black. Just like, I mean, nobody's saying that about Deshaun Watson, even with all his issues. Nobody's saying that about Russell Wilson. Nobody's saying that about Pat Mahomes. I mean, so we, I don't we think can, it has we anything agree to, to do disagree. with him being black. I just think, no, I'm I, just sharing my, I, yeah, I'm sharing my I'm, statement. Yeah, and, I, but, and I'm just saying I, I, I disagree with that. I but, think it's fine, easier to dismiss But my point is, it's the way Lamar plays. That's what it is. It has to me. It has nothing to do with him being black. And, and I mean, I get it. If Bucky was white, people probably would be accusing him of racism. When I don't think it has anything. Obviously, Bucky's not doing it out of racism. It's the we have never seen a quarterback play like this. And look, he is the best running quarterback in NFL history. Period. And I got to admit, I'm surprised he's been healthy this long. Because I never thought you could run like this in the NFL on a regular basis. And he's done it. And he's a small guy and he hasn't gotten hurt. But I think Bucky's point is he doesn't throw it that well. He, he throws it okay. But the Ravens were dead last in the NFL last year in passing yards. And so Bucky's saying he doesn't throw it that well. How long is he going to be able to run it like this? Now, like I said, he surprised us to this degree. 
But as you get older, you lose a step. That's just natural for everybody. And so if he loses a step, is he as elusive? And you've seen receivers turning down, taking less money to go other places. Three of them this offseason. Kenny Galladay, Juju Smith-Schuster, and T.Y. Hilton. And so I think Bucky's saying, which is what a lot of people purport, Rob, is that the time to really win Super Bowls or, or have the best shot is when your quarterback's on that rookie scale. And he's not making a ton of money, so you can build around him. And so if, if he's thinking, bring in Justin Fields, obviously, you know, you're starting Lamar this year. And if, they, if the Ravens go to the Super Bowl or, or maybe even the AFC title game, you rethink it. But he's saying, bring in Justin Fields, see what he can do. He can run it, not like Lamar, nobody can. But he's a guy that can run. Bucky obviously thinks, and, and a lot of people think, he throws it better than Lamar. So if, it, if you don't have a great season this year with Lamar, then may, or, or even in the next two years, because they're going to pick up his fifth-year option, even in the next two years, instead of giving him the long-term contract, you just let him go, trade him, whatever, and go with Justin Fields, and you got him for another few years on the rookie deal, and you build around. I mean, that's his logic, which I get. I'm not saying I do it, but I understand where he's coming from. I, I think it's total disrespect to Lamar Jackson. That's just – I like, like, he, like he hasn't accomplished anything. And you know what? Maybe they'll do it differently. Maybe a quarterback with his skill set – will finally break through and win a Super Bowl and change the thinking of some people. But all the guy's done is win. And because he's not winning the way you want, Matthew Stafford has a damn great arm and can throw all the passes, and they still didn't win. So, But it's okay because he throws the ball, or is it about well, how you, I mean, that's, how you throw the ball, lead, or is it about though. how you win, or, or is winning matter? And for Baltimore, he's done nothing but win. And, and every time they d- doubt him, or say he can't do something, he gets a little bit better or makes it. And, and I just think that for a guy who's done what he's done, to even be like a question whether he should be quarterback or whether he should be replaced bothers me. And that, that's just me personally. And, and I, I'm just saying that's why the comment rubbed me the wrong way is I, I think Bucky totally disrespected but that's uh, Bucky. You, I mean, I, I hear what you're saying. saying. That, that, that's just how I feel. Yeah, because he can, Bucky can say what he wants. I mean, it is kind of disrespectful, you know, but it, this is this is life. And this is, I mean, it's disrespectful for a team not to extend the guy. We can say it's disrespectful that the Ravens haven't extended him yet. They already said that they are. Well, going they to. said, I, you know what? Actions speak louder than words. I think they will, but do it. What are you waiting for? You know, so I, I hear where you're coming. I, I think, you know, I, look, Bucky can say what he wants. I'm and, not saying he can't say yeah. what he wants. He can say whatever he wants, but it doesn't mean that I'm just going to sit here and nod my head with him. I just no, I, no, I, hear I, you. Just, I, I just I don't disagree think, with he, him. He can say, I mean, in critiquing players, it can come off and sometimes straight up be disrespectful at times. So this isn't the first player Bucky's disrespected or any analyst. Who, or who commentator was, who, has disrespected. Who was it? Marcellus Wiley on on uh, speak, for, speak yourself. for yourself said like checked them and basically said to Bucky, uh, "Yeah, I know who you are. Pull that mask off, like they do in Scooby Doo. You know, at the end of the show, they always pull a mask right. off to find out who the who the villain is." And he right. said, "You're Bill Polian. I know who that guy is. It's Bill Polian. It was pretty funny." <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I mean, I, like I said, and, and, and to his credit, Lamar has obviously proven everyone wrong. But, and, and maybe, I hope he proves th- this notion wrong, that you can't run like this for, you know, a decade. You know, and, and, and obviously he'll continue to improve as a passer. But I just get what, what Bucky's saying. And, and I, I don't think he has any, I mean, Bucky's black. I don't think it has anything to do that with That doesn't with mean race. that black people uh, don't have bad things to say about other black people. Yeah, I but Bucky's not a sellout. I didn't say that, I mean, but I'm just saying. But just no, yeah, he ain't but, but, one of them But you just said he's black, and that, black I know plenty of black people in our business who, 
who well, disparage people, other black period. people. Right. That, so that disparage, I, I'm but I'm black. saying I, this isn't racist. Like there's black quarterbacks getting paid, getting extended all over the league. So this is to me, this is totally about style of play. And no one else plays like this. You know, the, the closest was Michael Vick. Um, but he obviously didn't do it as well as Lamar. All right. Uh, do you understand where he was coming from? Or you think he's straight up bugging, talking nonsense about Lamar Jackson? You're turned away in 877-99 on Fox. All right, Max in Georgia. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Max? What's up, Rob? Welcome back, Chris. Thank um, you, Max. You know, I'm going to try to be – I'm a Ravens fan, so I'm going to try to be a little optimistic here from a different perspective. I totally think it was disrespectful. Having said that, it fits the par for the course. Look at Aaron Rodgers, the Packers. Look at Cam Newton from leaving the Panthers. Colin Kaepernick even. Peyton Manning. You can go on down the list. So having said that – Well, what, what do you me mean? I don't, what do you mean – I didn't get I'm all of like, those, like Aaron Rodgers. quarterbacks all the time. So to get ahead of one isn't, isn't something that's totally out of bounds. He's right. like a Ferrari, right? He's speed demon. He can run. He's a Ferrari. But we need all-terrain oh, vehicles. Oh, you said draft Aaron Rodgers. He hasn't, right. he okay. hasn't shown the ability to do that. Not yet. Right. So I just, right. I just think if he's a runner. So you understand you where he's coming from. That. Yeah, right. Yeah, you I understand totally where he's coming from. Right. That's all. I get it. I agree. Yeah. I think it's totally disrespectful. It's got some logic for, behind for it. Be unanimous MVP but it's got some logic. Just, I, it's got I'm logic. not getting with it. Uh, Ryan in Vermont, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. So, uh, thanks for having me on. What's yep. up? Uh, I'm just going to say, you know, I don't, you know, I, I don't think it's a problem. I think Baltimore needs to protect themselves. He's a runner. Could get hurt. Bring a guy in that's got a pretty good arm. Play some good offense. You know, we're talking, I know you compared him to Matt Stafford. Prior, you know, what, what was Detroit's defense last year? Well, how, what last about the, the year that they the were? What, no, what about the year they were fifth in the league and they, and they still didn't win a playoff game? So don't act like they never had that. And Dominican Sue, Nick Fairley, they had some good defensive players. So any, every time people bring that BS up, like he played with nobody, I don't buy it. It's not, it's not true. I'm, I'm comparing last year to this year. That's all. Sorry. I, I know what you're saying. But I'm saying last year, you know, you go last in the league defensively to this year, or this past year. We he's got the played Ravens 12 years. He's played 12 years. Nobody's talking about replacing Matthew Stafford. He's played 12 without, years without in the a, league. Without a running, without a, like a legit running Lamar game. Lamar Jackson has won more defense. games in the league than anybody, even Patrick Mahomes. But you've got to protect the team and the future. If you have a defense like that and a good running game, and you know for sure that Fields player, is going to be a great quarterback in the NFL, you know how many guys are bust. You never know, though. I mean, it's it like like you, Max you said, never know. That's, the that's, Packers that's drafted Aaron Rodgers when they had yeah. Brett Favre. You know, just protecting yourself. All right. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Happy. All right. Draft. Thanks, Brian in Iowa. You're on the Odd Couple of Fox Sports Radio. Well, hello, guys. Uh, what I think Bucky Books was trying to say, and again, he didn't say it was, this is the lane I think the Baltimore Ravens need to take. He's just saying, if Justin Fields drops, it's an option. And the thing about MVP caliber players is, you know, once their contract's up, they're going to want that MVP money. Right. And, you know, that's going to make it hard for them to pay everyone they need to pay. They've got some, not a whole bunch of holes, but some holes to fill. I mean, they got to make sure they have money for everyone else. And it comes down to, you know, and maybe Justin Fields isn't the guy, but maybe you just draft him. And worst case scenario, Lamar has a great season next year. And then, okay, well, now we've got Justin Fields to trade for somebody else that we need on the team, you know. And, again, he wasn't saying, oh, this is what the Baltimore Ravens need to do. I don't think it was disrespectful. He was just saying that's an option that, you know, if he drops that far down the draft, maybe maybe that's the option or direction you head. Yeah, it is disrespectful because basically saying you can't win with him. That's the only reason why you would make a change. Come on, Brian. Read through well, it. Well, they haven't won the Super Bowl. Read through it. The but they've they won a saying. lot of games during the regular but season, and they won a playoff game. But that don't you win the Super Bowl. Well, but they won a playoff Everybody can't win the Super Bowl. That don't mean you discard <laughs> well, yeah, them. That's, but that's the goal. Yeah, but that doesn't mean goal. you discard them after three years. The guy's 25 years old. My God. Rah, I'm just saying, Rod. It's the I'm style. If he, was a, if he was a passer, I don't think there's any way that thought even crosses Bucky Brooks's mind. It's just I think the he, style of it, play. It, you always talk about intangibles. He a winner. All of a sudden, it doesn't count for it, Lamar no, Jackson. It, no, it counts, but it's still this, the physical style of it. play 
put you in harm's way a lot more than a guy that, that throws it more. Even passers get get hurt all the time. Of course, they anybody can get Peyton hurt Manning's in any back. game. He was a but pack, that is a, a reason the they pocket. don't run in the pros like they run in college. Because it's it's a whole different different league. That's all. Jackson, Kansas City, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's going on, fellas? Uh, I tell you what, man. The bottom line is this is a business, and as most NFL players will tell you. From the minute you step on the field, they're trying to replace you. And if it's, until you've proven as a quarterback like Lamar that you have won that Super Bowl, then there's going to be some level of the team protecting itself against you not coming through and being the one. So when did and they so, do that for Matthew Stafford when he was the highest paid player in the league and played 12 years with no playoff wins? When did they discuss that maybe he can't get it done and they should move on and do something else? But you're talking about Detroit, who's been a No, I'm just asking you, 12 years. I'm talking Compare about 12 years, else. Jack. Jameis 12 Winston years. Jameis Tell Winston me Lamar Jackson would be a quarterback for 12 years in the NFL with no playoff wins. I'm just saying, if you can get one of the he top three maybe quarterbacks in the draft at number 27, even if you kept him around and Lamar succeeded, he's still worth capital down the line. You can still right. trade him if it's still a possibility. So, as an organization, I don't think it's disrespectful at all. 